Digital television is a situation where we are digitizing the data that are used for transmission rather than a situation where we had analog waveforms as what we were using to transmit data and to receive you know, data at the other end. Digitization means basically that that same signal Instead of transmitting it as a waveform, we are digitizing it and transmitting it. There's a lot we can gain from digitization. Um, if you have um, an analog system using something like the UHF you know, frequency, basically it, gives, it provides you only four you know, channels through which you can send uh, pictures. What that means at the time, you can send pictures using only one of those um, channels. So at the time, you can just send probably four. Yeah. But with digitization, you can do almost 20 per those frequencies. You know? So what that means, with the four, you can even do up to 80 um, channels. So from that point of view, it gives you more. And because you've now digitized the data, you can now do a lot more with that data. You know, you can compress it and it gives you a better business model with which you can operate. Because of digitization, for example, you can now make people to do subscription TV rather than free air, you know, type of um, TV. So from that point of view, it gives you a lot more. I think the media in Nigeria is not ready right now, given what's on ground in terms of um, the infrastructure that they have. Um, but is this something they can do? I, I, I understand that um, the ITU gave us up to June 2015 to move from the analog to the digital. Um, but no, that hasn't happened in Nigeria. Um, it hasn't also happened in many other developing countries, you know. Um, but is this something we ought to do? Definitely it's something we ought to do because at the end of the day, it's something that gives us a lot more. A lot of people are now aware of the fact that there is a gap between Africa and the rest of the world with regards to information technology, a gap that needs to be filled you know, as quickly as possible because this is a technology that everybody is saying is very, very important for any country that wants to develop or that wants to leapfrog, you know, development. And information technology provides in the hands of governments a big opportunity for development. It's capable of getting into all the sectors of an economy and enabling them, empowering them, catalyzing, you know, things there to bring about greater development within each of those areas. So from that point of view, it's something that we need to do as quickly, you know, as possible. Even here, we need to bridge this gap. When we started, yes, a lot of people came. It was even graced by the minister, for information technology, Mabala um, Johnson. And a lot of the people that are part of the who is who of the IT industry also came. It also brought about 20 something exhibitors here in Abuja. After that, we moved to Lagos to Echo you know, Hotel. That brought a lot more people. During that year, an organization called the World Economic Forum, in fact, teamed up you know, with us. The World Economic Forum is a big deal organization that is responsible for bringing together all the electronic um, organizations within all the countries of the world. They hold every year in different parts of the world. For the first time, they decided to also hold in Africa. I think the media in Nigeria 
is not ready right now. Given what's on ground in terms of um, the infrastructure that they have, um, but is this something they can do? I I I understand that um, the ITU gave us up to June 2015 to move from the analog to the digital, um, but no, that hasn't happened in Nigeria. Um, it hasn't also happened in many other developing countries, you know. Um, but is this something we ought to do? Definitely something we ought to do because at the end of the day, it's something that gives us a lot more. It places you know, a lot more on the hands of even users. Users will now have a lot more choice in terms of um, the channels they have to view and the manner in which they view these channels. The, the quality of what it also provides is just a lot better than that that is provided by the analog TV. The fact that they have legacy infrastructure around analog you know, television shouldn't debar them because the amount it takes to convert yeah, is not that much. And moreover, when you convert, you are now gain, going to get more with less. So for that reason, it is imperative for all media houses to take the issue of digitization very, very you know, seriously.